All right, folks. Doing another video over here. All right, today I'm going to show you a little trick for changing inline water filters uh, that'll help you maximize your water pressure and your filter life. So this trick will work for whole house filters and the cartridge types that you might have under your sink or in the refrigerator, whatnot. So. First thing is I'll show you a highly detailed illustration that will help you understand the concept of water filters and why they can be problematic. Here we have a standard whole house filter. Your unfiltered water comes in here, gets filtered and then goes out. And as the water is getting filtered, rust and mineral particles are getting collected onto the fabric of the filter material and over time this builds up. Now as the filter surface gets more and more rust and mineral particles built up on it, your flow becomes reduced. And as the flow gets reduced, the rust and mineral particles and yucky stuff start to build up on the walls of the pipe before the filter. So this will continue to build up until the opening of the pipe is just big enough to only accommodate the reduced amount of flow that's going through the filter. So now where most people go wrong is they simply replace the filter cartridge. What happens then is all the nastiness built up in the pipe flushes out into the new filter, blocking up the brand new filter instantly, resulting in reduced pressure and more buildup. So the way to avoid this from happening is to remove the old filter, put the canister back on with no filter in it, and then start to flush out all the nasty stuff into a wash tub or a bathtub or something that gets pretty decent flow out of it uh, preferably something without an aerator on it so you do this until you get a nice clean flow and then once you do that you put your new filter in and put your canister back on fire it up and you should be in good shape for a while now this will also work on filter cartridges like these, but you have to get a little creative with it. So what I do is take the old filter like so, and take your drill, what about that size, and drill a hole through here. Because as you can see, the, the water comes in through here, the unfiltered water comes in through here, goes in, gets filtered, and then comes out the middle hole, filtered. So by drilling a hole through here, like this, okay, by doing that, kind of make sure you don't have any little hangers on ours. Blow this out. So now by doing that, now we've got a full flow in through here and out of here that's not getting restricted at all by the filter. So you take your old filter off and you take this one and you get you a sharpie and you mark this one. Lower outer. Okay. Keep this one with your new filters and stuff. So you take your old filter out put this one up in there and then flush it out. Turn on your water, let it flush out till it's coming out nice and clean, good pressure. Okay, put your new filter in or take the blower outer off, put your new filter in and then you're in good shape. And you take this and just put it on the shelf for later, for next time and then you only have to do this once. So that's the trick and uh, I hope this is uh, useful for you. And uh, you know, if you got something out of it, wouldn't kill you to hit the old, you know, like button or whatever. So, just saying. All right. I got to go. Adios.